Bugala bugala fu fu klau tobu kana fa li ti bao ku tu 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 or is it li ti pa ka ti? I can never remember that part. Maybe lo bao ta ti ki bao li. No, no, but it's lo bao ta or something. <sighs> is this chanting ever going to work? What is it going to take to get into contact with a powerful juju spirit from another world? <coughs> it worked! Uh, hello? Can you hear me? You do not speak, but I see that you listen. You look so strange. Your clothes, the power stick you hold in your hand, I have never seen a juju like you before. And what is this magic box you watch me on? It is clearly the most important thing in your hut. You do me great honor to watch me on it. My name is Jabalba. I am the powerful shaman of the great and legendary Pupanuno people. For generations we have... Hey! Hey, quiet out there! I'm talking to a juju! Tech, would you shut those people up? This is important! And get Warrior Lock! I want to introduce him to this juju here! I am so sorry, oh strange and powerful juju. There's a lot going on today. That's why I've called upon you for your help. Let me explain. Throughout the history of the Pupanunu people, Shaman, like myself, have known that someday something terrible would happen to our great protector, the Moon Juju. So said the Pupanunu people's prophecy. The Moon Juju is our shield against evil and the source of my Juju power. She is strong and nice and oh, so beautiful. Oh, that's Tlaylock. He's not nice, and he's sure not beautiful. He's jealous and practices bad juju. At the council that chose the new high shaman, he was passed over in favor of me. So last night, Tlaylock decided to take his revenge. Tlaylock crept into the Temple of the Moon with his foul servants, pins and needles, and stole the Moonstones, the source of the Moon Juju's power. The first thing Tlaylock did was to use the Moonstones to change the Pupanunu people into stupid, helpless sheep. Without the Moon Juju, my power was only enough to protect a few. And this is only the beginning of Tlaylock's <laughs> terrible plan. But Tlaylock is a fool. He won't get away with it. For the Pupanunu people's prophecy clearly says a mighty warrior trained by the High Shaman will defeat Tlaylock and save the Moon Juju. I have trained such a warrior. His name is Lock. <coughs> Tech, what are you doing? You told me to go get Lock. Yes, that's right. Go fetch Locke, stop playing with the sheep. I did get Locke. No, you fetched a dirty, stinky animal. That's Locke. See, he's wearing Locke's amulet. Tlaylock must have changed him into a sheep. No, 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 this is all wrong. This isn't in the, the poop, 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 poop. poop -noo -noo. poop a noo noo people's prophecy. The mighty warrior doesn't become a sheep. The mighty warrior doesn't lick my foot. Stop the licking, Locke. Oh, this is terrible. Can't we just change him back? I don't know. Yes, I've got it. We can change Locke back into a mighty warrior. This great juju spirit who watches us from another world can help. Follow Tech. Protect him with your power. Go with Tech to the ancient burial ground of our ancestors and put the teeth into the statues. And get me some magical nubu plants while you're out. Now go! Both of you! Locke must stop Tlaylock before he destroys the Moon Goddess! Hello, Tack. My name's Flora. The Moon Juju sent me here to hang out with you and help you whenever I can. Well, it's a long road ahead. We better get started. 
Okay, Tack. In the end, I think you'll find most animals to be helpful in some way or another. If you come across an animal, you should experiment with it to learn how it can help you. Some animals can even be ridden. Oh, yes, the mighty rhino. These fellows are great for breaking things into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and jump on board. If you want him to speed up, try giving him a swat with your club. Okay? Oh, that happens all the time. Part of being mummified. You get these dust balls in your throat, they feel like little rocks. So, you're the great warrior of the Pupanunu people's prophecy, mm-hmm. Come to pick up the staff of your ancestors? Well, you don't look so great to me. Me? Oh, I'm not the great warrior. That's Locke's job. I'm just here to take the staff to Jaboba. The prophecy says only the great warrior can have the staff. If you can take the staff from me, mm -hmm, you are meant to have it. Whoa. Oh, man. That's my fighting arm. What a drag. Yeah. Take the staff, great warrior. Use it wisely and often, and don't ever touch me again. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did it, Tack. This is a powerful weapon. I bet those awful nurbles don't stand a chance now. Hey, you know what? I bet you can also use this thing to pole vault yourself up onto higher ledges. This could come in handy. Tack, do you remember the plants Jaboba talked about? We should find them. Maybe you should try using your new staff to get up to that door. I have the herbs and spices, Jabulba. How's Locke doing? Locke, the mighty warrior, has been mindlessly eating grass and leaving little pellets all over the floor of my hut. So I guess he's doing okay for a sheep. You did well, Tack. Now I can perform the transformation spell and bring him back. Oh. But this is not Locke. It's Tobar, Locke's squire. At least your transformation spell worked. Tobar, can you tell us what happened to Locke? <laughs> uh, Jabulba? You sure you did that spell right? Of course I did. You mean it wasn't always like this? Tech, you must go to the tree village and find their shaman. If he has been turned into a sheep, you must fetch his spirit rattle. We will need it. Take this charm. It will allow you to enter the shaman's tree. While you're gone, I will find out where Locke is. Okay, I'm on my way. Oh, and Tack. If the shaman has been turned into a sheep, and he has any nice shamanic jewelry you think would look good on me, it, it, never mind. Go on! Jabulba's errand boy thinks he can just reach out and take that. <laughs> it's pathetic. Let me show him how wrong he is, Tlayla. <laughs> Needle says he thinks he can take him on all by himself. <laughs> Needle says he can take me on, too. Well, come at it, little man. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! All right, well, you are boring, you dog. Oh, oh, my eyes. <laughs> oh, oh, that is... Enough! Pins, needles, you will both stop tech together. Oh dear. Afterwards, you can fight as much as you like. Whoa! I've got the spirit rattle. It was really hard to get. I had to. Oh, gross. Is that. Is that Locke? The mighty warrior himself. He's a quarter of an inch thick. He's a Poopanunu people's pancake. Is he gonna be okay? No, he is going to be the opposite of okay. Locke has moved on to the spirit world. But 
that's not in the prophecy. I know. I am very confused. The prophecy warned us that our people would be turned into sheep by the evil juju of Tleilak. The prophecy also told us a mighty warrior would save the Pupununu people. But when Locke tried to calm them down, they crushed him like a bug. Well, can we uncrush him or something? Bring Locke back from the dead? It's very difficult. Well, I'll do it. Only a mighty warrior can do that. We don't have a mighty warrior. <laughs> the spirit rattle will grant you juju vision. You will be able to see the tikis and the magic yorbles throughout the world. You will have to put the tikis into the shrines to call upon juju spirits for help. They may not want to, but if you call upon them, they must help you. How will I find Locke? You will need to open an entrance into the spirit world. Once inside, you will be able to fetch Locke's spirit. And you must also collect 100 magic yorbles to make the resurrection spell work. A hundred magic yorbles? Yes, don't complain. When I was a young man, it used to take 10,000 magic yorbles to do a resurrection spell. Lucky me. Now if I only knew what a yorble was... Somebody's at the door. What strange traveler comes to this lonely, cursed gateway? My name is Tack. Uh, I'm here on an important mission. You must open this door immediately. Oh, oh, just a minute. Um, before we can open this portal, we must check the sacred list. The sacred list? What list? You have to be on the sacred list to get in. Let's see, where are you? Um, there's Tabor plus one. And Tadur the Elder, party of three. Kathy oh, Wise. Kathy dates the most incredible looking Jujus. Remember Gazelda the Gargantua? Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Ladies love Taffy, even though he is so wise. Yeah. Um, oh, back, okay. Tag Galog, party of uh, ten. Forget the list. Will you just open this door? Oh, wait Is a minute. A manager um, I can... What did you say your name was again? <sighs> Tack. T A K. Oh, uh, here it is. Tack, party of one. Congratulations, you're on the list, man. Well, then, we'll open the door for you. <laughs> Mr. Tack, party of one. <laughs> hey, he just took off. I don't know. Same thing that happens every time we open this door. As long as I have known you. It is true, I tell you. It's more powerful than the seven skin peeling stenches of the South. Impossible! It is more deadly than the rancid funk of the stink giant's feet. Ridiculous! I can prove it. Pull my finger. Pull your finger? No way! Pull my finger. Don't ever stick your finger in my face again. <gasps> Uh-uh. You're gonna wipe it. It's not my turn to wipe it. Wait a minute. I'm not the one who ate Juju Chili. Well, we'll just have to leave it unwiped. <gasps> Somebody's out there. Um, I know it. Hello? Just a minute! You will. I'll wipe it. Sometime today? Oh, sorry. We were just, uh, doing some paperwork, you know. Yeah. Do doing it. Uh. Shh, 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 shh. Be quiet! Hey, guys, listen. I'm stuck. Can you give me a hand? Uh-uh, not that hand. We can help you, but you have to prove your bravery and your worthiness. You must go in there. Oh, 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 come on. Anything but that, that's just cruel. What? Too scared to go inside? Why? Are you just a little chicken? Chicken little? Little chicken? <laughs> I wrote that. No, I'm not a chicken. I'll do it. Oh. 
<coughs> Why, hello. So glad you could stop by. Lovely breeze here in the treetops today. Smells of yummy, fresh meat. I don't smell any yummy, fresh meat. Yes, well, I can show you some if you hand me that key. What key? It opens the cage. I was only supposed to be in here for 10,000 years, but that was up eons ago! Well, okay, but I don't care about any meat. I actually need to find a way through the... Uh, hey, hey, whoa, now get off! The hands off the loincloth! Insolent, yummy, fresh meat! I will fricassee you! I'll fry you alive! Hey, where'd he go? Well, what just happened? Oh, that was a close one. Hope I don't run into him again. Juju, you have to help me. I need a snowboard. I might help you. But first, you must help me. I'm bored in this cage. I want a pet. Sure, what kind? Oh, nothing much. How about a nice fish? No problem. And a sheep. Okay. And an emu. And a rhinoceros. What? Uh, well, uh, how am I supposed Just to- Just be glad I didn't ask for a killer whale and a polar bear and a bee colony. Hmm, maybe I should. Never mind, never mind. That's enough already. I'll get them. Excellent. These will be fine pets. What a handsome emu. Now you will get the board you came for. Hmm, let's see. Surfboard, bodyboard, chalkboard, ironing board, circuit board, carving board, shuffleboard, snowboard. Oh, hello, little Juju Woogie. Don't be fraidy, waity. What? I'm not afraid of you! <laughs> of course you're not. Can you call your mommy or daddy? I need some big adult juju help. I can out juju any juju anywhere! Watch this! <laughs> oh, so pretty. But I need someone who could do real grown-up serious juju. Yeah? You ever met a juju who can make the earth move? Oh, baby made an earthquake. <laughs> Good for baby. Now, uh, is your mom around? You know, I'm gonna show you some real special juju. I'm gonna show you my magic boots. Oh, very special baby boots. You're so lucky. Oh, yeah? It's my lucky baby boots. <laughs> I've seen in 1999 years! You want a party? Because I'm like, die in a party! Woo! <laughs> That's a joke, but it's still true! Look, look, look! Ooh, I got party favors! Yeah! Pinatas! Ole! Magic tricks, board games, cards, cat's cradle, karaoke, s'mores, shadow puppets! Wait! I know what you like. Pin the tail on the rhino, baby! <laughs> hey, 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 uh, you, you should be careful, you're- Quiet! I just said people don't cheat! <gasps> I did it? <gasps> I did it! I win! Oh, yeah! I'm fair! I'm bad! I'm nationwide! Hey, man! I need some balloons for the party, right? If you can bring, like, three of them to me, I might be able to help you out. Do it! Ooh, nice job, little dude! Here's that help I promised! I'm so glad you're here. I need help. I know, Locke. I'm gonna take you back to Jaboba, and he's gonna put you back in your body. Yeah, yeah. But first, I got this terrible itch. Can you scratch my head? We don't have time. Come on, I can't reach it. Oh, that's good. A little lower. Lower. Oh, oh, oh that's good. Oh, a little more. A little more. Okay, but we gotta go. Who's making all that racket in here? Sir, it's Jaboba's errand boy and the great warrior of legend. Mr. Balloonhead. <laughs> You'll never find your way out of here. No! 
Hello, Jaboba. I am so glad to be back. Ah, at last, Locke's spirit. Now, we will resurrect him. Hey! Oh! Ah, uh, I, Locke, savior of the Pupanunu people, am alive again. It is so good to be me. Locke, now is the time to fulfill your destiny. Yeah, we're all in terrible danger. We really need you to save us, Locke. All of my training has prepared me for this moment. I am ready, Jabulba, for I am the mighty warrior called for by the Papoo. Oh, Papoo, Poo. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Jabulba, where's the. Out the door, round the back. <sighs> What's wrong with him? <sighs> this always happens when people get resurrected. <sighs> They call it what? Resurrection's Revenge. Whoa. We'll just have Somebody. to be patient and stay away from him. Turn me off! Ow, ow, wow, yow! Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Heck, oh. there is no more time. You'll have to get the Moonstones while Locke recovers. <gasps> Me? <gasps> this magic amulet will help. It increases Hurts. your abilities when you're Hurts. at full strength. Oh, it's like lava, baby. Ah. All right, I'll go. But try to help Locke. <gasps> Resurrection's revenge is a here. terrible thing. Oh, sweet Juju. Moon Juju, I have brought you the mighty warrior, as foretold in the Pupununu people's prophecy. I can see that. He's smaller than I thought he would be. I am? Well, I haven't been feeling well lately. I've lost some weight. Tack! Give Locke the Juju magic you have collected. He must go and defeat Laylock and fulfill the prophecy. Oh, don't you listen to him, Tack. But Locke is... Dead wrong. The mighty warrior. Says who? I trained him. You wasted your time. But the prophecy says... Doesn't say anything about Locke. Tack is the mighty warrior of the Pupanunu people's prophecy. What? what? I'm the mighty warrior? Of course. You've done everything that the prophecy says the mighty warrior will do. That's all it takes. But I'm not... <laughs> Don't argue with me. But I can't... Shh, 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 shh. I... Young man, you may be the mighty warrior, but that doesn't mean I can't use my juju to give you Resurrection's revenge. Oh, um... Okay. Um, what have I got to do? It's simple. You're ready to face Claylock now. All you have to do is jump through the portal. <laughs> this is too sudden. I wasn't pre... You can't hope to defeat me, boy. You are no champion. You simply do not possess the power. Bring it on, old man. Fantastic! Now it should be a piece of cake to destroy that... <laughs> oh. Uh oh I feel strange. Bye-bye, <laughs> Tlaylock! Source destroyed, the villagers will return to normal. Too bad Tlaylock was so close to the blast. Looks like he's stuck being a sheep. <laughs> Aw, look, Tack. Tlaylock's made some new friends. Yeah, close personal friends. Wow, who would have guessed? Me, the mighty warrior, saved the tribe, rescued the moon goddess, and whipped Toylock. <laughs> hey, maybe I won't have to sweep Jaboba's hut anymore. Smash. Wham.
Ah, good. It's you again. Of course, you must remember me. I am Jabulba, the great and powerful shaman of the Pupanunu people. It has been some time since we last met, and I know that you juju spirits can be forgetful. I, however, have an excellent memory, so let me remind you of what has gone before. Just let me find my notes. <clears throat> uh, chicken feet, uh, juju bubbles, I have zuzu. Ah, yes, here we are. Last year, in the 14th cycle of the Leaping Weasel, the Pupanunu people's prophecy came to pass. The evil shaman Tlaylock stole the sacred moonstones. The beautiful moon Juju, who watches over our people, was rendered powerless. Tlaylock then turned all the villagers into sheep. Only a handful of us escaped his vile plan. For a time, I thought that the warrior Locke was destined to be the hero who would defeat Tlaylock and save the Pupununu people. But instead, I came to learn that a true hero is made of more than just muscles. Tack, my lowly apprentice, took up the task, restored the moonstones, and saved us all. Tack faced the evil shaman Tlaylock, defeated him in combat, and then left him trapped in the body of a sheep. Poetic justice, I would say. And so we were saved by the most unlikely of heroes. But even though Tack has learned much and grown stronger since that time, I sense that not all is well. Sometimes Tack falls into a deep sleep from which we cannot awaken him. I do not know what this means, but I'm sure that a wise juju such as yourself can help. You can help us, can't you? Wake up, Tack! Wake up! You've been asleep for too long. Come on, Tack! Snap out of it! He's been like this for days. I've tried everything. I'm at my wit's end, Locke. Oh, creepy. His eyes are open, but he's still snoozing. So, the great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people is taking the world's longest nappy. Well, if he's tired, I can take over being great and mighty, mighty and great. Great, great. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Great, great, mighty, mighty. <laughs> great, great. <sighs> mighty. I need helpful ideas, Locke, about waking Tack up. Right. Right. Mm. Gotcha. Hey, you! Wakey, wakey! Good morning, sunshine! Rise and shine! Open up those eyes of yours, sleepy head! Stop it, Luck. I've already tried that. Okay, plan beta. You grab their nose, they can't breathe, they wake up real fast. Luck, I think... I think he's turning blue. No, Tax always looked a little blue. Not that blue. Oh, he's got drool coming out of his mouth. What's wrong with him anyhow, Jabalba? I don't know. But he's been talking out loud in his sleep. I think Tack has been having the same dream over and over. And in this dream, he finds himself in a strange world. Hello? Anybody here? Huh? Tak, the great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people. He who is lucky enough to have fulfilled the prophecy and defeated the powerful shaman, Tleilok. What, uh, who are you? What is this place? And can you turn that light down? This is the dream world. You've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time, you have been called here for a purpose. Several days traveled from here is a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and terrifying castle. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world, the Guardian, who wields the world-destroying power of the Staff of Dreams. Sadly, 
The princess has no hope of rescue from anyone. Except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight, happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? Nah, don't think so. Uh, no, 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 wait! Hello! You're not supposed to do that. Get back here! Maybe you don't understand, Tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. There's a beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and... I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the oldest one in the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tack. If you do not accept this challenge, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Good. I promise you. In the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Tack. Hmm. Something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tack. You will need training before you can complete this quest. The dream world is new to you. It has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Don't do it, Locke! It's too strong! <sighs> we might lose him! Come on, Japalpa, a little bit of juju smelling salts never hurt anybody. <laughs> it's working, Japalpa, he's waking up! <laughs> juju smelling salts do it every time. I remember back when I was <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? I'm trying to take a little nap here. Tech! You've been asleep for 16 days! So? Does that mean crazy people can come and shove their moist, stinking pit in my face? Yep, sure does. And that's not all. What? I've been sleeping for 16 days? You were dreaming. You kept talking about a princess. Princess? <laughs> what princess? That's right! I'm supposed to rescue some princess. She's trapped in the dream world, but how can I do that, Jaboba? Hmm. Well... We'll have to go see my brother, J.B. He's an expert in the world of dreams. Well, we better get going. Wouldn't want anybody else to rescue that princess. <sighs> Let me guess. You're thinking King Locke, right? Hey, I'm not greedy. I like Prince Locke, too, especially if she's a looker. Uh, Locke, there's no way... Uh, how can I put this? Uh, Locke, would you help out the wise and powerful shaman of the Pupununu people? By going back to my hut and uh, uh, fetching my other pair of sandals. Uh, I have a very painful bunion. Dogs fetch shoes, Jabalba. Prince locks fetch princesses. Whatever. Ah, but uh, these are the sacred sandals. The most powerful open-toed shoes in the history of magical footwear. Really? Ooh, I'll need those. You go on ahead, I'll catch up. But Jaboba, you don't have any sacred sandals. Maybe Locke will find me a pair. They sound fantastic. In the meantime... Jaboba? Down here! Yeah. What are you doing? Just hitching a ride. Now, let's set off for my brothers before Locke gets back. Woodies! <laughs> These nasty wood spirits are the bane of all nature. <laughs> Ah, a juju shrine. If we can find the tiki, we can summon a powerful juju spirit to help us. There, Tack. That's the tiki you need. Uh -oh. Throw me over to that squirrel, Tack. Perhaps with a proper bite, I can get him to help us. Excuse me. 
Uh oh, I summoned you. You have to help me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't get upset about it. Maybe I should find another juju. No, wait. I'm so sorry. He has no brain. That's why I had to take over. Hey, knock it off, turnip head. The moon's not even out right now. I don't know why he has to act like such a clown. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. You can howl later. This is the kind of thing I have to put up with. You should hope it never happens to you. So, is there any way you can help us go down the river? I'll help you if you get me another barrel of juju candy. I keep them hidden in that cave up there. Where's this cave, exactly? See that secondary section of Silverstone just next to the sunny side of the southern facade? Silverstone, southern facade, got it. I'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks for the stash of three. Open it! Empty it on the ground! Okay, now, what about some help getting down the river? First, give me a lollipop. Not him! Me! Mm. Oh, yeah. Yummy. Now, give me a chocolate munch crunch bar. Mm. Oh, yeah! Greetings, weary travelers. There is no longer any reason to fear. I have brought to you the awesome power of the sacred sandals. Only they don't seem to work so well. Marshmallow Supreme and a nutty spuddy bar. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, maybe you two want some alone time, because... What you're doing is freaking the lock. No, we don't want any alone time. What we want is a boat. I'm not feeding you any more candy. You promised us a way down the river. I want it now. No problem. <laughs> hey, Tack, come back here. Why don't you feed me another lollipop? Because you're disgusted. Grape, creamy center. <laughs> yeah, but well. Grape Creamy Center? No problem. Oh, help me! I'm going in! We made it, Jaboba! Looks like the hard part is over. We can take it easy. Time to just kick back. And relax. Watch out, Tech! Ahead of us! <sighs> Jaboba, maybe you're getting a little too old and a little too nervous for this whole shooting the rapids thing? Not that one, you fool! This one! <laughs> my, my. A woody shaman. They can be very dangerous, Tack. Be careful. Hmm. A boar. They are very territorial and at home in the mud. Must cross that bridge. We have to wait for a break in the woodies. Hold on there, not so fast. You won't get away that easily, Woodies. 
Now, with your only means of escape destroyed, you have no choice but to deal with the warrior lock. Oh, hey! Not so fast. Whoa! Oh! Let's go easy on the lock. Oh. Lock will be okay, but how are we gonna get across that chasm? We'll need the help of a juju. Hey, how did you... Aren't you supposed to wait until I put the tiki in? I knew you were going to put the tiki in. I read minds. I foretell the future. Oh, well then you know what I'm gonna ask you. How you can cross the chasm, I know, I know. I sense there will be a new bridge. Great! In ten and one half years. What? Oh, it's too late. That doesn't do me any good. I know. You're sad. No, I'm not sad. I just have to... You're afraid of the dark. Uh, no. You're lonely. You feel like a lost little boy. Wrong. You cry when no one's looking. What? And most of all, you miss your mommy. Oh, great buckets of Jojo. He's reading my mind. Oh, yes, you. That is who I meant. You want to cross the chasm. Nearby, in this woodland, are three unusual magic stones. Hmm? Fetch them for me, and I'll show you how they can be used. Don't come back until you have all three stones. Tell me more, oh great Juju. Hmm. First of all, I have to tell you, I can't believe what you did to your puppy. Lock, you must return all of Tuck's stuff you borrowed. What do you mean? What stuff? That's enough. And apologize to all of the girls. It's <laughs> just joking. <sighs> it wasn't easy, but I've got the three stones you wanted. Excellent. Give them to me. There. It's just a little something I picked up on the night shift. What am I supposed to do with these? I sense that you want to know what you're supposed to do with these. Hmm. Well, maybe I could throw them at things. Perhaps you could throw them at things. Hmm, I bet with the right target, I could use them to swing across the chasm. Use these magical bolas to grapple a target and swing across the chasm. Okay. I think this'll work. You're welcome. Thank you, great Juju. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! I bet you can't tell what I'm thinking now. <laughs> You're thinking, why am I pole vaulting when I've never done this before, hmm? And now you're thinking... <laughs> it is a long way to the bottom. <laughs> uh, where am I? You're in the Woody's dungeon. This is where they keep their prisoners before the big event. Big event? What's that? You'll see soon enough. Is there any way out of here? Perhaps. Guess what's in the box and I'll give you a key to the lift over there. <sighs> okay, how many guesses do I get? Three? As many as you like. I've got a lot of time on my hands. And I'm bored, so guess away. Great. Is it some um, extra clothing? No. Is it food? No. Um, maybe some books? No. Boy, this is tough. Don't worry, I'll get it. A goat? No. A baby goat? No. <sighs> A very valuable gold necklace that's sacred to the moon, Juju? Uh, or maybe... Wait, I got it! Inside the box is another box. No. I've got it. There's nothing inside the box. That's it, isn't it? Nothing! Oh, yeah, it's a trick! You tricked me! No. Yes, you did! There's nothing in there! Come on, admit it! No. Prove it. Who are you calling nothing? You were never going to get it right. Yes, I was. I was just starting to think. I was thinking, maybe it's Locke. No. Yes. No, no. Yes, Infinity. Sounds like there might be some woodies nearby. Shh, Deck. I need you to keep completely quiet while I assess the situation. Await my command. Huh. 
So, what's your command, Locke? I command you to... Help me! Come on, Locke! We'll have to fight our way out! Back to back! Ow! That was my shin bone, baby! That doesn't sound like luck. Hey, not again! You guys are killing my festive feeling! Party poopers, leave me alone! Hey, can you guys quit that? We'll need this Juju's help to get out of the swamp, Tech. Okay, everybody, back away from the tiki. You, yeah, you, move along, little wooden guy. You're gonna get thwarted. No, no, no! And don't let the number much can take my tiki! Go after him and get it, baby! Go, go, go! <laughs> Tech, the Woody King has the tiki we need. Go get it from him. <laughs> Quickly, Tech, we must get away from the Woody. <laughs> Tiki back from those dirty little mad heads. The Woodies won't bother you anymore. Now, help us get out of the swamp. Us? You mean you and me? He means me, the great shaman, Jaboba. Great shaman? You look like a blood-sucking freak. Yes, well, I am a bit. I can take you out of the swamp, no problem. Wait, take me too. I gotta get out of here. They've been all over the lock. Ow, 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 I'll lead you out of the swamp myself. You guys look like you really know how to party! There's GB's house! We're almost there, at last! It's beautiful, isn't it? Just like I knew it would be. He must really be a wonderful shaman to live in a crib like that! Ah, he's nothing special. Let's go! Sleep. Sleep. Sleep? Who's sleepy? Not me. <sighs> me neither. Ooh. These flowers smell pretty. The flowers. We've got to fight it. Wake up. Uh, it's... Sleep. Sleep. Ugh. You are nearing the end of your quest to rescue the princess. She awaits you in the top of the tower. Unfortunately, the evil dream guardian has heard of your coming. He has set up tremendous defenses to stop you. I hope that the mighty warrior of the Pupu Nunu people is ready for a fight. In order to continue, you must use this catapult to destroy the nightmare defenses. What's a woody catapult doing in the dream world? The dream world is a mixture of many things. You must have seen a catapult in the real world and brought it with you. In the dream world, your mind makes it real. Really? Really. Cool. Indeed. Let's get a move on, Tack. 
What happened to us? I think someone's trying to keep us from reaching my brother. Should we wake them up? We could, if we want to have a couple of babbling blockheads following us around. They're tired. They need their sleep. I like your way of thinking, Tack. Let's go. JB! JB! Must be at his laboratory. All work and no play, that JB. It's just shamanism, shamanism, shamanism. Seems kind of dull to me. Hello? Somebody there? Help! I'm trapped! Power parasites! They're everywhere! Calm down, JB. It's me, Jabolba. What's going on? They they've stuck me to the wall. I think one of them wants to eat my face. Hold on, JB. We'll be right there. I'll buzz you in. Take the lift. Hurry! Get here as fast as you can. Uh-oh. What could be coming out of that egg? Oh, my. What a marvelous little critter. It's almost as cute as... Well, never mind. Those power parasites are the worst. I set traps for them, but their queen had a bigger brain this year and sicked her grubs on me. It was terrible. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, Tack. Tack, I'm JB, Jabulba's brother. <laughs> That's funny. What's funny? Well, your name, JB. And you're Jabulba's brother. It's his same initials. That's not funny. That is my name, Jabulba's brother. Mother didn't even bother to think of a name for me. Oh, can it, JB? Mom was very busy. Dad was off fighting those wars with the Black Mist, lost all of his fingers. Tech, go and turn on the power. I would have been happy with Dave. Brother Jabulba told me about your dream. It's strange. I've never heard about such a princess or of any dream juju. I thought you were an expert in the world of dreams, JB. Well, at least I'm not a mommy's boy with a fancy name. Please, keep focused on the problem, and I'll call you whatever you like. Dave? Tack, sit down in the sleep seat. This device will allow us to monitor your progress in the dream world. Perhaps we can find out about this dream juju and learn more about this mysterious princess. Well, I just took a nap. I don't think I could fall asleep again. Maybe in a few hours after a warm glass of milk you and... just need to relax. 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 Sleep now! Somebody help me! Hey, you! Down there! Can I get some help? Hurry! Help! All right, all Move right! It. Keep your princess pants on! Help! I need some help! No one's helping me! Warrior of the Pukununu people's prophecy. <laughs> Show him who's boss. I know, you don't know how to thank me. That's okay. I'm glad you're free, and I really hope that- Oh, I do know how to thank you. You do? I do. Mm. You know, you smell funny. Actually, I stink. <laughs> Pins and needles? What is this, Dream Juju? Tag. remember when I told you you would learn something about yourself. Yeah? Well, what you've just learned is... You're an idiot! Tlaylock! In the flesh! I used you, Dak, to defeat the Dream Guardian so I could steal the Staff of Dreams. Pins, needles, the Staff... 
Oh, just get the stick. Not so fast, punks. Hey, you a dollar? I didn't know. Uh, oh, you ever like you know? Whoa! That's the staff of dreams. Ooh, look at the ugly old prunes. We're in the wrong place, Needles. Tear us away out of this dump. Tack, you've got to get that back. You can't let the Staff of Dreams get into the wrong hands. Why, if those two had evil intentions... Like helping Tlaylock tear open the world of nightmares. No one would be that evil. Don't be naive, Dave. How can I go after them? That rift they opened. It led to the shrine of the Pachyderm Noggin, which, so legend has it, is guarded by the giant misunderstanding. A giant? A real giant? Yes, they say he is very powerful. Which reminds me, since the power is on, you can use the banister to follow them. I've set the destination. Good luck. Oh, and don't forget to duck! Ow! Moon Juju! What are you doing here? I've come to help you, Tak. But we have to hurry. I can only stay a short time in the world of dreams. Here, Tak. Choose a spirit animal to enhance your powers. Jaguar. Piranha. Dragon. Eagle. Which one would you pick, Moon Juju? The choice is pretty obvious, Tack. You'd be a fool and a total idiot loser not to choose the... What? The what? Hello? Moon Juju? <sighs> Let me go! Your name is Mo? Hello, Mo! I'm Tack, not Mo. You're attacking Mo? Now why on earth would you do that and speak up with that little voice? I have to stop pins and needles. You want a pile of beetles? I, I need to take back their half of the staff. Half a giraffe? <sighs> Boy, you are weird. Look, it's very simple. Temple? Uh, is Greek okay? No! Look. I just need some help with that rift! Oh, you want to talk to Rick? Rick? I said rift, not Rick! Ask him if he wants to talk to Rick. <sighs> uh, do you want to talk to Rick? You need help with that rift? <laughs> Man, why did you say so? Thanks, and so long! A song? Heck yeah, man, I sang your song! Back then, my jeans were tighter, my hair was longer, the coffee I drank, it was a whole lot stronger, but I never did nothing, I know it was wronger, since the day I married you. <sighs> hey, where'd everybody go? Hey, I'm right here, guy. Where are we going? Well, I'm off to save a princess, name's Locke. You're like one of the... Undead, right? You want to tag along? Wow. Could I, Your Highness? I mean, I've never partied with royals! Let's party on. Flora! Fauna, what are you doing here? The Moon Juju asked us to help you, Tack. Fauna and I are here to grant you the power to transform into an animal. Oh, great! I could really use that. You can either become a big, nasty bear or a happy little squirrel. Now, there's no pressure to choose either one, although the squirrel is very good. Take your time and think about it so oh, you can... forget that. Of course he wants to be a bear. Bears are big, hairy butt kickers. But if Tack is that big, they'll see him coming from miles away. I think he'd prefer to be a squirrel. Well, I think he'd prefer to be a bear. Hey, squirrel! Bear! Cut it out! Squirrel! Bear! Squirrel! Good enough. I really gotta run now. Bye. Anyway, it looks like you'll be able to transform into either a bear or a squirrel. 
all you need to do is be near an animal totem that looks like the animal you want to become, and then press the circle button. Remember, you burn mana while you're in animal form, so plan ahead. Good luck, Tech! Juju Shrine! We're saved! We made it! <laughs> I thought we were goners. Volcanoes, vampire bats, those zombie ninjas of the black mist. We have been through it all. Better wait here, my man. I'll go contact the Juju. No, wait, but I'm a Juju! I can help us find Tech and Jaboba! Cool, cool. But why don't I contact somebody with some real Juju power? Yeah, we need something a little better than a pinata or a punch bowl, my, uh... Party going, compadre. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're killing me, but you're right. Oh, great Juju. We humbly summon your August Majesty to this sacred place. So this is we... so exciting. Wow! Hello! We're gonna get a really fantastic Juju! I'll be so honored to meet him! Don't interrupt the summoning. You might take him off. Okay, okay. Anyway. The most impressive of the Jujus. We summon you now. You? Hey, it is me. I am the best. I am the greatest. I am so happy to meet me. Let's celebrate. Punch for everybody. I need your help. Are there any more animals I could change into? Certainly, Tech. I can give you the choice of two more animals. Your first choice is a frog. Uh, they're kind of yucky, but they've got really long tongues, so you'll probably be able to swing on things. Also, you'll be able to swim really fast to avoid nasty things like gators. Plus, they're green. I like green. Well, because I look good. The other animal you can become is a boar. They're dirty, stinky pigs who are right at home in the mud. You'll be able to break stuff and charge enemies. If it's what you like to do, then <clears throat> knock it off, Fauna! Can't you see I am trying to help Tack with his quest? Help him! You can turn into a froggy Tack. Ooh, I look good in green, Tack. You're not helping him! More like boring him! Oh, so I'm just a big boar now, am I? Yep, pretty much. So, who's the boar now? Anyway, choose whichever one you want. Not now, Needles. We have to get the staff to Tlaylock. Aw, is the little Juju doll scared of me? Needs his mommy pins to protect him? <laughs> needles, don't listen to him. He's just trying to wind you up. Come on. What's the matter, Needles? Cat got your tongue? Or did somebody sew your mouth shut? Come on, Jaboba. They'll run forever if we can't get him to stand and fight. I don't. Pins is a, a poopy head. Ha! Bacock! 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 Nice one. Okay, let's get it on! Good work, Tack. Now we can restore the staff and return it to its rightful owner. Okay, everybody, you might want to take cover. Prince Locke is here to free his beautiful princess. Yeah! Locke, there is no princess. <laughs> Don't fool yourself. Of course there is. Why else would we come all this way? Well, I guess it's up to me to rescue her and perhaps take her as my bride. Oh, 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 oh! Me too! Me too! Me too! Did somebody drop this cool stick? May I have that, please? Sure. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> Fools! Now I am the master of nightmares. All the world will know and fear the great shaman, Playlock! <laughs> Tech, you must recover the staff. 
But how will you defend yourselves against these creatures? You must stop, Tlaylock! Go! Don't worry! Locke and I can deal with them! Uh, yeah. Get that staff! This staff has opened the way, Tack. The world of nightmares will spill through into our world. All of humankind will fall asleep. So, everybody's asleep, then what? As more and more people fall asleep, the collective dream energy will grow greater and greater and make me, he who wields the staff of dreams, the most powerful being in either the waking or dreaming world. But you only have half of the Staff of Dreams. Once you stop asking me so many questions, I'll take the other half from you. No, you won't. Yes, I will. No, you won't. Yes, I... Oh, shut up! Who's gonna make me? Me? Oh, yeah? You and what army? Who told you about the army? Fluffy, bring in the girl. Did it. Good going, guy! It's all over now. It's been a long and arduous journey, full of hardship and self-sacrifice. But we did it. Now we need merely to return the Staff of Dreams to the Dream Guardian and go home. Before we go, aren't you going to introduce us to your buddy there? Who? What buddy? Your hand buddy. Hand buddy? I just defeated you! By defeating me in the real world, you helped me to become a creature of the nightmare world. I have become more than a man with the body of a sheep, Tack. With the power of this stuff, I can become whatever I want to be. And what I want to be is your complete and total destruction. Well, duh. I have a staff, too. Sorry about that whole beating you up thing earlier. <laughs> oh. Your quest is over, Tack. I'm proud of you. Couldn't have done it much better myself. Time to party! I now know that I can never defeat you. For you truly are the great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people's prophecy. So, if you can't defeat me, and I've stopped you from taking over the world, why am I here? I cannot defeat you directly, Tack. But now, I see another way. I know your weakness, Tack. I know your greatest fear. Do you? Indeed. You are weak because you care for your pathetic friends. And once they are destroyed, you no longer have any reason to fight. Tlaylock, 
You truly are my worst nightmare. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Wake up, Tech! Wake up! You've been asleep for too long! Uh, is it over? Am I still in the dream world? Tech, you've been asleep for 16 days. I think you've been in the dream world long enough. Not long enough to hook the lock up with that princess you kept mumbling about. When are you planning on taking your next nap anyways? But was it all just a dream? It seems so real, Jaboba. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Why don't you tell us all about it on the way back to the village? It was very weird. There were nightmare creatures everywhere. Oh, and Tlaylock was at the head of an army of evil sheep. Evil sheep! You're in the middle of the Pupanunu people's pig pen, and you're covered with Pupanunu people's pig poo poo. Oh, I messed up. I really messed up. If anyone asks, can you tell them that I summoned you to a beautiful shrine and that I treated you with great honor and that you like pigs? <laughs> now follow me. Hurry! Jack and Locke are waiting for us. Our Pupanunu village is full of mysterious strangers from faraway lands. Some of these strangers are nasty, brutal, ugly folk. But not them. Those are the Gramazons. They're cute as bugs. Hi, ladies. Everyone has traveled here for the Great Juju Challenge, the first to be held in 60 years. The tribe that wins will gain the favor of the Moon Juju. This is odd. Tech and Locke should be here by now with the Feather of the Phoenix. They must obtain a feather to begin the challenge. It's symbolic or something. The challenge is about to begin. Where are they? Oh, this is a disaster. So, this is how it all ends. <laughs> the lock can't go on no more.
Bye bye, sweet world. Hello! <laughs> Magnificent! What an incredible feeling! Okay, that's enough. Hey, uh, uh, hey lock, lock! We have to go and get a Phoenix feather now, so we can start the great Juju challenge. <laughs> You've practiced your new Juju abilities enough, Lock. All right, all right, mister. I was predicted to be a great warrior in an ancient prophecy, so I gotta be serious all the time and not have any fun, because I'm still trying to prove that I'm special. The Lock gets it. Let's go. Good. I mean, these new abilities are really great and everything, but... Cannonball! Woohoo! Sorry, I just thought if you were gonna talk, maybe I could just... Hey, there's that phoenix! Well, there's no way around. Ah, it's okay. We'll just swim across. Can't do it. Won't do it. It's not deep, lock. We can make it. Are you afraid of water? <laughs> Of course not. Water's just wet. I enjoy being wet. So what's the problem? It's what's in the water. Fish hate me. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's true. Big fish, small fish, they all have it in for the luck. Come on in, Lock. The fish are fine. You're right. Feels great. I don't know why they hate me so much. I have never wronged a fish. I think I can get both of us across. Gorillas, on the other hand, they like me a lot. Maybe too much. to the Great Juju Challenge. I see you all have your requisite phoenix feathers and challenge jewelry. As you know, the winner of this competition will receive my favor and protection for the next 60 years. Now, it's my pleasure to begin the challenge by introducing this year's teams. Jib and Jab of the Jibber Jabber Tribe. Stone Crusher and Thunderfist of the Gramazon Tribe. Bartog and Krug of the Black Mist Tribe. And finally, representing the poop. <laughs> Locke! Tack! You brought him? Well, yeah, he's. he was available. Not to worry, Moon Juju. We've got this competition in the bag. And I'm gonna get in the bag with it. And only one of us is gonna debag alive. That's a confidence booster. Let the challenge begin! Welcome, Poopanunu contestants, to the Great Juju Challenge! Ready yourself. That ceiling sounds like it may cave in on us. Whoa! at a loss for words and how much pain I'm in right now. Tack, are you okay? I'm fine. Your skull cushioned my fall. I can't see any way around them. 
Look at that. They can sleep anywhere at any time, too. Hey, I bet she could get us through these thorns. Rhinos will run through anything. Once I fell asleep while milking a goat, filled up three buckets, and then this one time, I fell asleep when I was supposed to be watching the village, and Playlock turned everyone into sheep. Do you remember that? <laughs> That was a classic. Come on! All right, wake up, you lazy loaf. Come on, get up and work! Hey! Hey! You smell like an armpit! Get up! Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. You have more wrinkles than Jabulba! Hey! 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 No go. <sighs> well, there's gotta be some way to wake her up. Look around. <laughs> Another glorious victory for the Black Mist. Tack, I've been smitten by love. With the Black Mist? No! <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Allow me, Tack, I'm fluent in their language. Are you wounded or in need of medical attention? <laughs> Two words, sounds like something Nemo. Monkey for steam fungus! No, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, they want a burrito. Are you sure that's what they said? No, I'm just telling you what they said. You don't have to get all testy. Well, it sounded like we might be in danger. Oh, right. There, yeah, there was that too. Mommy, mommy! Didn't say that, didn't say that, didn't say mommy. I meant to say it's kind of dark in here and the lock is a uh, kind of a uh, light kind of guy, not a dark kind of guy, but I'm not worried about it. It's gonna be okay, Lock. We just need to find a way out. Can we get out of here now? Hey, hey, you guys did great! Amazing! Blew my mind! I mean, not as good as the other guys, of course. You're just getting started. But you better hurry up if you want to win the Moo Juju's favor. Look, here's a little something to help you out. It's just some leftover Juju spells I got lying around my crib. <laughs> you can thank me later, dude. Now I am out of here. Party on, Poopa Doo Doo Party people. Go, go, go. <laughs> I like that guy. Ah! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, um, come on, there's two of us, and one of her. Wait a minute! Oh, great Juju, how did she find me? Did she see me? What? It's Vanessa. She's obsessed with the lock. She keeps spelling out Vanessa loves lock with bananas out on my front lawn. She saw you. I bet she has names picked out for all her eight kids, and they're all named Locke. Ugh, gross, Locke. I know. Put me down. Come on, let's get out of here while she primps. Unless, of course, you two would like to be left alone. No, don't leave me. Oh, man, are you guys lame. You fight so bad, it hurts me to watch. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give both of you some better weapons. Fill them up with blessing gems to really dish out some damage. Now go get them! Uh, thanks. So then I said to the guy, oh, you're gonna love this. Well, if you really think that this pole is long enough, then maybe we should just give it to Edith because she's taller, right? And then he gets upset into my face Will like I'm ruining Another his goat, please. Yes, and this time, we'll make sure it's extra plump. I want well wow, I can't believe the black mist got knocked out so early. Yeah, well, they were afraid of me. Can you blame them? Hiya, boys. Welcome to the Shaman Snack Shack. Our specials today are yellow mush, 
ground gourd, stuffed squirrel tail, and whole sheep stomach, which I highly recommend. Oh, sheep stomach and mush. Two, please. Jabulba's really got this place fixed up. I don't know what you're saying. Locke, you following any of this? Clearly, she Locke? worships me from afar. Actually, I think she's asking Jabulba for her check. I N O B E U. Locke, I love you. don't do that to a Grimazon. Don't you know what a Grimazon is? Poor girls, you can't resist falling in love with the lock, can't play. Wait, lock. The lock of love. I don't know him. <laughs> oh. Hey, warrior gal, when a lock lips with the lock. Deary, this one wants to give this grandma a kiss. Ah, you're old! It's my turn with the teeth. Hand them over. Oh! Hurry up. I'm halfway through my sheep stomach. Uh, j hey, you're kind of cute there. How about giving me a kiss first? No, we didn't <laughs> ask you. He's mine! Selfish old shit. That's man. just so unnatural. Oh, geriatric. Attention, all scum! It is I, hey. the handsome, magnificent part of the Black Mist. Please hold the applause to the end. The two-headed juju has a special announcement for all scum. Okay, everybody, listen up. We messed up the score. Um, excuse me? No, we didn't. You did it. I did it because you forgot to tell me I can't count. I can. One, three, eight, six, two. Oh, I forgot. Seven. Good thing the Black Mist counted up the score for us. They did real good. They're back in the challenge, all four of them. Another glorious victory for the Black Mist. Now let's go, my free to applaud. Go on. <laughs> See you in the morning, losers! The lock called it first, the lock gets it. Do you know what that is, Lock? Yes, it's mine. It's for underwater exploration. <laughs> and it's all yours. Uh, too bad I'm not tall enough to wear that suit. Sure glad you are. Thanks, big buddy. I hate you. Oh, Lock. Red, definitely your color. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I've been watching you, and I know something that you do not. What? Guess. Uh, maybe... Wrong. Well, how about... Ah, wrong again. Look, if you can read our minds, can't you just tell us and get on with it? Exactly what you were thinking. That's very good. So, as a reward, here are some new spells. Use them wisely. Whoa, that was weird. Wait, he left already? Ah, Juju spit. I still don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, baby. What? Oh, don't tell me you've never ridden a mammoth, little buddy. It's like riding on a cushion of air. Total luxury. Oh, you do have to feed him every couple of miles. Oh, but the leg room. Oh, it's to die for. Come on. I don't know, Lock. You haven't been having much luck with animals lately. What are you talking about? I got mammal magnetism. <laughs> Where are you? I need to take a look on how you said that under his foot. Total luxury. This didn't happen. Do you hear me? We're making good time. Locke, what are you doing? Come on. Ah, do you smell that? That fresh, crisp mountain air. Locke, we're losing time. It reminds me of camping with Jabulba when I was a kid out at Puitekee Poo Lake. Oh, the fun we had. We'd grease badgers and play keep away, shoot fat slugs out of our nostrils for distance, and 
Russell Rabbit Feral Beast under the forest canopy in our loincloths. Ew. And at night, we'd sit by the campfire and sing songs of how I would fulfill the Poopanunu prophecy. I was Jabulba's favorite then. Can. We. Go! <clears throat> right. <gasps> oh, great! I'm so proud of you. You guys are doing great. No, they're not. That's why we're here, remember? <sighs> to help them out. Um, yes. Well, here you go. <sighs> ooh, ooh. You can now put more blessing gems into your mana jewelry. Good luck. So, here we are again, just like old times. Oh, right, yeah. What silly task are you going to make me do this time? Silly task? You underestimate my purposes. So, what then? I'm here to grant the both of you new weapons. That way you'll be able to deal with our, I mean, your enemies so much more effectively. <laughs> ah, there you are. Now, go out there and demonstrate to me the depths of your fury. Do not hesitate, and show no mercy. Wow, what a nice guy. It was 60 years ago, during the last Great Juju Challenge. Team Poopanunu, that was me and Tlaylock, had made it to the semifinals. It was down to us, the bucket heads, the giant dwarves, and the black mist. Giant dwarves? How big were they, Jabalba? Huge! As big as you and me. Has anybody seen our teeth? No, but we'll certainly keep an eye out. We can't find them anywhere. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Until they find their chompers, I'm safe from granny cooties. As I was saying. Some strange things happened to the other competitors. We thought the Black Mist might have been involved. Well, we don't have to worry about the Black Mist anymore. Hey, listen up! Hello, everybody. We're here because of a rather delicate matter. It seems... There they are! The sneaky, cheating old bags! You can't just accuse people. What kind of proof do you have? Oh, we've got proof. Oh, thank you, dear. I've been wondering where those got to. We found your teeth attached to the magical salt lick of performance enhancement. It just isn't fair to the other players. What? I'm so sorry it has to end this way, but get your granny butts out of here. I didn't do nothing, you bratty little frog girls. Yeah. Now we've been framed. Looks like we're back in the challenge, oh great Bartok. Another glorious victory for the Black Mist. Sleep well, boys. Oh, yeah? Well, the same to you! Cannot help but be victorious. Look! What I need to do is simple. Stop losing! That should be no problem. After all, are we not the Black Mist? You've only stayed in this challenge because of me. Things must change, or we shall have to rethink our strategy. Understand, Krug? Yes, yes, I do! Let's go. Let me tell you how we're going to win to get the favor of Moon Choo Choo. I've got a bad feeling about this. I knew they were no good. One thing's for sure, we're all gonna be a lot thinner. What? I just wanted to say it. Well, it's my trusty old chicken suit again. <laughs> wait, wait. You wear a chicken suit. Would I have to? With it on, I can glide on currents of air and drop exploding eggs from above. <laughs> oh, a chicken suit! That is precious! That is precious! Tlaylock? Relax, boy. I'm here to help you. Really? You're not gonna turn us into sheep or blast us into oblivion or anything funny like that? Ah, uh, if only it were that simple. Nope. The Great Juju Challenge is bigger than this thing we have between us. It is imperative that you win. To that end, I am here to grant you a new spell. Uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. Hey! What about me? Oh, uh, yes. You. <sighs> Very well. There you go. And now I must be going before one of those infernal Juju spots me. Buddy, I don't feel any different. You'll have to climb those vines. 
I'll cover you. Why is the lock always the one ducking cannonballs? You can maneuver a heavy cannon, but you're too weak to climb up a cliff. You're faking it! Lock, I'll just fall off and waste too much time. I'm waiting. Waiting for what? I'm waiting. <sighs> Go on. Oh, mighty Lock. You are the biggest, baddest warrior in the world. Whereas I am built like a puny, disease-infested squirrel. All of the girls in the village love you. But as for me, they think I smell like skunk poo. I'm so stupid and dumb, and have fleas in my hair, and my dream is to eat Jaboba's dirty underwear. <laughs> you are a beefy, strong stallion, and greater than me. You should have been the hero of the Pupununu prophecy. Okay, Tech, I'll go, but only because you asked nicely. I'll show you nicely. Give me candy! Oh, sorry, we don't have any. No candy? Well then, I'll just have to give you something. Oh. Oh. All right, you've got more life now. Next time, you better have candy. Actually, I had a gumdrop in my back pocket. I'm saving it for later. This great juju challenge is the bomb, baby! B-O-M-B, -B, that's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Ow! It's so exciting! I love you guys! <laughs> yes, I am rather amazing to oh, watch wait, and Oh, you guys! I thought I was talking to... Ah, oh, never mind! Here, here. Let's amp things up a bit, yeah? Zap those old feeders of yours up to something stellar! Hark! You hear that? No. Yeah, me neither. Weird, huh? Well, smell you later! There's no way the Black Mist earned that kind of score. What is it? All of a sudden, the Black Mist are doing much better than everybody else. But it's impossible. They're doing too much better. We should talk to the Jujus, tell them what's going Boys, on. Boys, concentrate on getting the best times during the events. You can't worry about the Black Mist and what they're doing. to come. And put their dirty underwear on display for everyone to see. We gotta stop that. And then to celebrate... We'll probably have the moon juju burn the Poopanunu village to the ground. If they survive that, then they'll have to give us their stuff. Burn the village to the ground? No way! Moon juju wouldn't do that. Would you? Well, I guess I have to support whoever wins. Sounds like another glorious victory for the Black Mist. Moon juju, what's wrong with you? She has no choice. The Moon Juju must serve and protect whoever wins the Great Juju Challenge. If they are evil, she must do evil. And we've got some great evil planned. Believe me. Dog! Hold your tongue! We had better go and get ready for the final round and our inevitable victory. Moon Juju, you are looking as fabulous as always. Remember, to the winner goes the spoils. I am looking forward to seeing you again, Mon Cherry. What was the little monster talking about? Spoiling... Spoils, cherries... I don't know. But he reminds me of someone I used to know. I can't believe I have to do this, but I don't think you've got a chance. There! You've got more life! It's giving me a splitting headache watching you get your fannies kicked over and over. And that really makes me mad! And believe me, you don't want to see me angry! Hey, there you are! Yeah, we've been looking all over for you. We've got a present for you. Oh, joy. One, two... Seven, Eight, three hundred and twenty-nine, three. <laughs> now you can really stink. Oh. Great. Oh. Oh. All this running around is churning up some major gas.
My name is Tech, and that's a fact. Don't give me no lip or I'll attack. Doing this challenge is really tough. The black men stink, and they play rough. But it don't matter, we don't mind. Cause in the end, we're gonna kick behind. Time is running, it's going tick tock. So I'll hand it over to my main man, Locke. I'll take that bead and Locke's my name. Uh, eating dung beetles is my claim to fame. Don't uh, laugh at me, uh, I'll punch uh, your skull. Uh, and when I eat food, uh, it makes me uh, full. Uh, Fish are stupid, they smell like poop and shabba shoop a doop de doop. My rhyming's done, don't give me no frown. Just do one thing and break it down. Back, I never knew you were cool. I think we just bonded. Do you want a hug? No. Me neither, so quit asking me. Let's make this quick, okay? The moon juju's getting worried that you guys aren't... Well, how do we put this? She thinks you're gonna blow it. I thought the moon juju didn't care who wins the challenge. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Anyway, we're back to give you more mind capacity. Because it's worked out so great so far. <laughs> Bye now! Don't give up! Help! Hey! Anybody! Help over here! Rug! What are you doing here? Ah, we just saw you hanging out with Axeman! That's not me! That's the Dark Juju! The Dark Juju? Who's that? A powerful Juju who's been helping us succeed? Hey, you mean cheat you cheating cheater? He cast a spell on the two-headed Juju. He planted Grandma Stonecrush's false teeth. But after our last defeat, he and Bartok decided to get rid of what they called the weakest link. Me, Krug, the great and mighty shaman of the Black Mist. A man who can turn toads into women. Really? Whoa, oh, we gotta check that out. Why? You know, because that would just be so cool to no see. No doubt to rule the world. The Dark Juju keeps talking about finally being able to tell the Moon Juju what to do. Meet me back at the Caster's Hill Challenge. Perhaps I can help you defeat them. Look like women, or do they have toad faces? Toad faces. Oh. They haven't got that part worked out yet. Oh, never mind. Come on, Locke. We've got to get to the bottom of this. It's gone! The Dark Juju must have moved it! He said we would need it just before the end of the challenge! What is it? The ancient hammer of Handy Juju. The rest of his magically created tools have long been lost. Even the fabled Philip's head of so many legendary adventures. Handy Juju. Is he making this stuff? There is a place near the end of the Great Juju Challenge, Ambush Grove. Meet me there. What is that? Krug, are you okay? What was that noise? Uh, some kind of horrible creature. Where'd it go? The seven-headed one. The Dark Juju had it guarding the hammer. But I managed to defeat it. Defeat what? It's an invisible lizard demon. Got seven heads. Breathes invisible fire. Screamed the whole battle. Oh, gave me such a headache. And then at the end, it fell on me. Oh, yeah, I can feel its scaly body. Oh, creepy. Okay, let's lift it off. Take the ancient hammer of the handy juju from me. Oh, cool. Now go. Hurry. You have to defeat Bartok and the Dark Juju! I'm just gonna go home and find a good-looking toad. No tack, no luck. I guess we win by default. So, when do I get my victory kiss? What? No! You get my favor for the next 60 years and that's it. No victory kiss. Wait, I'm sure there was a kiss. The entry form said that You read it wrong. Look, I can help your crops grow, destroy mutant enemies, restore your receding hairline if needs be, but a kiss was not part of the package. <sighs> We're here. For the love of Juju, why won't you two just die? I have tried everything. Fire, crushing, monkeys, everything! I deserve this win. I've waited longer. I want it more. I am destined to have it. Holy Juju! Travis? Yes, my velvet moonbeam. It is I. Don't call me that. I've told you to stop calling me that. You're supposed to be on house arrest. Where's 
Where's your trekking collar? Oh, luminous love. Nothing can keep me away from our destiny to be together. Travis, take a hint. I don't like you. Leave me alone. Oh, but my Luna love beam, you do. Just search your feelings. What do they say? Oh, I'm going to be sick. I love you. I have always loved you. I just threw up in my mouth. Ah, oh, I loved you since we were just little choo-choos and you were that gangly, buck-toothed, big-footed girl up the street. <laughs> well, I guess you still have the big feet, but hey, nobody's perfect. <coughs> Loser! What? Who said that? Loser! No, no. That is where you are wrong. I am the big winner! No more games! This time we play on my turf! <laughs> and once I'm rid of you two morons, we'll finally be together. Travis, this is why we never went out. Jack, you know what the best thing about two great warriors achieving a legendary victory is? Uh. Party? It's like there's a teeny tiny luck sitting in your brain, you lucky dog. Well, let's not keep them waiting. Let the festive festivity festivate now. Oh, I see. Shh. Let's not ruin it. Come on. Just act normal, like we don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Perfect. You're doing great. It's a surprise party. Man, this is going to be good. Hey, Jaboba, you're supposed to wait for everybody else to jump out and yell surprise. I think the surprise is that there is no party. No, there's not going to be any party. The Jujus are all gone. Said they wanted to avoid the traffic going back to the Juju realm. Well, what about a big celebration, a song, or a dance? Yeah. It's not the Pupununu way, Tech. At least not now that we've gone over budget. But if you really want a party, there's your party. <laughs> Rock, this is no way to end a great juju challenge. Well, you're right, Tech. It's kind of lame, but what can we do? How about this?